Hey guys, Mike here from Ecom Knives, and I just wanted to give you a quick look at my latest friction folder. This is my third friction folder overall and my tenth knife ever completed. Now, it looks pretty similar to the last one. I know it's the first thought. It is the same blade shape and handle shape. Uh, but like I said in the previous video, I wanted to take a new step every time, whether it's a quality step, a new materials. Well, this one in particular, I wanted to work with titanium. So the liners and the backspacer on this one are made of titanium. It's kind of a tricky material to work with. If you've never worked with it before, it's like steel, but almost has an elasticity to it. Almost like a, like a gummy type feeling. So if you're using dull tooling or dull abrasives or anything like that, forget it. You're just going to make it worse and worse and worse. Because the hotter it gets, the harder it gets. So definitely use sharp drill bits, sharp abrasives, brand new belts is an absolute must for this. And then it's still kind of a pain. But maybe it's because I'm new and learning. But I finally got it to work. This one fought me every step of the way. <laughs> but it's finished now. Now, I guess we'll start off with the scales. You got black G10 again. Contour, just like the last one. Yeah, this one came out with a cool little pattern. So how I do this is um, right on the belt and then just kind of rock it back and forth like this and then uh, once I get the general shape I hand sand it from there and this is hand sanded to 2000 grit you see the light reflecting off it's a very nice smooth surface but it's still nice and grippy uh, the blade is the same blade shape just with a finer satin I believe it's a 320 satin the swedge is just a tiny bit bigger than the last one you see that nice and centered here's your titanium liners with the the fit if that will show up there we go nice and flush and fitted now what I'm covering up is the titanium backspacer and something I want to do a tutorial on uh, down the road to show you guys that you can achieve this cool effect if you heat it up just right so essentially is what I did was I polished uh, up the backspacer as much as I could which is very difficult with titanium and then you heat it with a blowtorch but you have to get it just right because the colors change very quickly to get it to fade this is a lower temperature up to the higher temperature but if you overheat it'll just go gray on you and you have to start all over again <laughs> but luckily I I nailed it on the first shot and I'm pretty happy with that it goes from a light blue to a dark blue to a purple into the gold very cool looking effect but yeah that's uh that's about it guys I mean if you look at it you see it's missing a screw here to hold the backspacer in it's because I got a little too close to the edge and when I went to recess the scale for the screw I blew out the side of the handles so this is my second set of handles for this one I had to do it all over again but that's uh, that's the way it works sometimes so you get creative and I made a blind pin that's held in by the liners so it's still nice and strong it's not gonna go anywhere uh, so it still has the pin in there you just can't see it. it's hidden behind the scale but yeah that's it I'm gonna drive this one over to the new owner today and uh, catch you on the next video Take care, guys.